Yo guys, welcome back to another Wizard on a walkthrough, and uh, last time we finished uh, the three streets, so now we're moving on to, I guess, our fourth, because I decided I'm not going to skip anything, really, uh, in terms of side streets or side worlds, so let's go into Colossal Trouble. I have a very important task for you today, Alejandro. Your studies will have to wait. Uh, you've done such a great job elsewhere. I could use your magic on Colossus Boulevard. I had to lock the gate because the street has become too dangerous. Professor Greyrose summoned an army to run out the ghost. Something must have gone very wrong with her spell. The gate guard, Private Odoyo, can tell you more. Please find him in the shopping district if, and see if he needs help. And then, yeah, I'm going to get this, but oh, I have to really quickly just quit and come back because... I don't want to accept that quest yet because I'm not ready for it. I I think I'm gonna have to get some upgraded gear, but I, I kind of don't really. I want to wait till level 15. There's no point in getting it now because level 10 is kind of it won't last me that long. Anyways, ah, thank goodness the Headmaster sent a wizard to aid us. Uh, we could really use your help. Strange creatures have taken over Colossus Boulevard. We don't know where they came from, but they eat everything in sight. We call them gobblers. I admire you, wizards. My niece studies ice magic at Ravenwood, but I am worried about her. She said she was going to do some school project on Colossus Boulevard, but I don't know why she has to do it now. Would you go speak to her and see if she needs help? Needs any help? Uh, her name is Mindy Pixie Crown. All right. Now this street's a lot different in where uh, for every one wizard, there's two uh, enemies. So yeah, like this this person right here, uh, Chris, Christopher, he has to fight two gobble, gobbler scavengers at once. So one, it's a lot harder, but also at the same time, you get to defeat and collect things a lot easier because you always have two in your battle. As opposed to just one. That's so sweet of my uncle to say, you know, I'm so glad you came too. I've been doing some ice uh, research for Professor Grayles, but I had to stop. I really need your help. This is horrible. First the gobblers showed up and st uh, started eating everything in sight, and then these evil snowmen, they are all over the place. We must get rid of them, but there are so many. Hey, I know. Why don't you defeat some of them and see if that will chase the rest away? We'll see what I can do. Uh, there's a lot of people in this street, so I don't know how good I'm gonna get it. Get two gobbler scavengers here. Uh, okay. They have 115 each, so. They're kind of like rod and fodders, but it's just different because there's two of them. <laughs> That's pretty much the only difference, I guess. Uh, should I use Link? Gives me a heal, so actually it might be... Yeah, I'll use Link. I don't know how like good it actually is, but I guess I'll try. Like As long as it gives me the heal, I suppose, it should be okay, right? Let's see what happens. Like, I've, I've never used this spell before, so... Like, how much does it actually do? It does 43, but it gives me back heal? Like, I, st I still have no idea what it does, particularly. And then it does 68. Well, that is a kill, so... I just have to wait till next turn. And then I heal 35. Alright, it's not that good, honestly. I, I, I'm honestly not that impressed with it. I'm, pro I'm probably going to take it out of my deck. There's literally no reason for me to have it. It's not, it's not really helpful in any way. Like, maybe it's better when you can enchant it, but, like, I don't know. 
doesn't seem that way. Anyways, that should be that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have to feed a lot more, so yeah, I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, I am finished with that. Well, that didn't seem to make a dent in those gobblers at all. They're still eating the city. Go speak with Professor Grey Rose. Maybe she will know what to do. I'll try to keep their damage to a minimum. Alright. Let us go. Okay. Let's talk to Lady Grey Rose. If this ever loaded. <laughs> okay. Okay. Lydia Grey Rose. So what, Lydia Grey Rose just overran the streets with Evil Snowman to help the situation, but all it's done is make it worse. So why didn't she just retrieve the Evil Snowman exactly? Oh dear, I was afraid of that. It was an accident. I didn't mean to summon those gobblers. And those Evil Snowmen aren't doing... Uh, thing to help. They're actually causing more trouble. The biggest problem with gobblers is that they're always hungry. Let's try brewing a potion to make them lose their appetite. The snowmen uh, we'll deal with later. Here's a list of ingredients for the potion. Take it back to Mini Pixie Crown on Colossus Boulevard. Uh, I think my friend is... or I think my other account is close to Mini Pixie Crown. Yeah. Okay, so... Let us talk to Zimindi of the Pixie Crownus. A magic potion? Excellent idea. I'll begin working on the list she gave us. Uh, I'll set up the collagen for the potion here. Can you get the first ingredient? It's called Stinkweed. Uh, you can find that growing uh, right here on Colossus Boulevard. Go gather some for me. And I'm pretty sure I know the best tactic, let's say, to do that. Or to get it, rather. Collect the stinkweed. Yeah, there's one right there. And then there's two at this tower. And I'm yawning because I pretty much just woke up. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I don't have much time to record uh, this video. So I'm hoping to finish Colossus Boulevard somewhat fast. All right. And then let's go ahead and we can switch the realm. I went to a perfect realm because there was literally like people battling up and down the street. And I couldn't find like a uh, an actual battle to join. Well, not to join, but to one to make myself. I mean, I suppose I could have joined one of the battles, but they didn't really have what I was looking for. I was looking for snowmen at the end of it and it just... Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't going very well. Snowmen are surprising. Okay, well, it's two right there. Kind of contradicting myself, but surprisingly, evil snowmen a lot harder to isolate than the gobblers, which is honestly not that much of a surprise. But woo, this stink we really does stink. I've, I know I've lost my appetite. That's all I need. I'll brew the potion now. Uh, here's the first batch of potion, Alejandro. Hopefully, this will make the gobblers stop eating. While I make, while I'm making more, go beat some gobblers in combat and uh, make them drink this the stinkweed potion. Okay. Once again, honestly, you guys don't need to see this, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's talk to Mini Pixie Crown. All done. Excellent. Let's see if the potion had any effect. I'm going to go out on a limb and say the potion didn't quite work. I don't want to bother the headmaster. I know, the Goblin King lives in a large place at the very end of the street. Maybe we can reason with him. I'll try to brew a stronger potion. See if I can make a, a deal with... See if you can make a deal with the Goblin King to stop eating and leave the city. I don't know if that's going to happen. But we shall see, I suppose. We shall see. See, the problem is, like... I kind of I kind of need the new gear cuz my health is so low. This might actually be the first boss where I die. <laughs> oh 
because like from what I remember this boss is somewhat difficult so I don't like I'm nervous just a little bit about this I'm not exactly sure what to think also we can finish the smith quest too so that's cool but I'm a little maybe I should get new gear I don't know like, it's not even going to help me that much. It's not even like they're much better stats than what I'm wearing. Well, I mean, there is much better stats than what I'm wearing. But, like, the health boost is, like, all I really need right now. And that's pretty much what I've got. So, like, the only thing... And, like, I have level 10 ring and athame. The only thing I don't have is, like... I mean... There's not... I can't get much better than I am right now. So until level 15 and i don't know man i just i'm not feeling like i'm gonna be successful in this battle so i mean i guess we'll see there we go we got the smith so finally finished that quest but here we go here's the real test of our power is if we can actually defeat this boss i i don't remember how difficult he is and like how much health he has or whatever but like i just let's just hope i go first is the first thing to worry about here. You have to get past me if you want to see the king. And they're both balanced. So, like, it's not even like I boost on them either. I'm taking Link out. Absolute trash spell. Or at least right now it is. Anyways. It's it's not that good. It, it's not looking good. I, I do have uh, treasure cards in here. I could see if I have... No, I don't have any... Uh, anything to go with that so yeah i guess we're kind of just going i hope i get to go first but that is yeah okay i was gonna say i was like it's probably not gonna happen balance blade oh boy i can feel it i can feel the the taste of defeat coming with every breath i take okay well at least i can i guess fire i'm gonna fire off the gobbler it's not even like I boost on them either, and they're gonna, and like these guys start using decent spells too, so like, makes me slightly nervous. Like man, already down to like half health, and I fizzle. Like really? Was that what we're going for? Uh, okay. If I can take out the minion, then I might have a bit easier time. So, but I'm going to have to, like, really hope I get a heal. Or have enough to get a heal. Because if I used Fire Elf, it wouldn't have killed him and he would still be able to hit me next round. But... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got a Power Pit, but that doesn't really help me. So... Blood Bat... Just, ooh, did a little more than I wanted it to, to be honest, but. Ah, uh, shoot. I have to heal. There's nothing else I can do. Use this Thunder Snake. It's not quite gonna kill, but it's, it's there. <laughs> I didn't want to have to waste a Power Pip, but there's not much else I can do. I need this heal. If I can get a fire elf off, I wouldn't be too mad, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get that. Like, I have other means of killing him, it's just like not anywhere in the near future. Okay, he fizzled, that's cool. Saves me one health of damage, I suppose. Yeah, let's fire elf that, and then I can uh, actually heal right away. Is he gonna use scorpion? No, he's gonna put balance plate on. Ooh, jeez, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so Fire Elf. It's gonna help me with some overtime damage. Do I throw out a heal in anticipation of him using a spell? Yes. I do. I full heartedly believe he's gonna use something pretty strong. Or he's gonna fizzle. Okay, I kind of regret my decision now, but actually I don't because that was definitely something strong. And I needed the heal, so... Ah. 
Oh my god, okay, stack fire elves. I'm fine with that. Is that... Okay, no, there's one more turn on that. Okay, this actually might be good. Locust? Oh, boy, that's gonna do at least 300. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. Okay, but I got a second fire elf up. 95 plus probably about 60 uh with fire cat that should kill if not already 71 95 uh actually that no that doesn't kill quite yet thunder bats maybe no thunder snake even if i fizzle the fire cat i still win so oh my god okay we're good we're good that was difficult, okay. Bro, that boss is hard, man. I actually might put... No, no, I'm not gonna put that on. That... Oh, my God. That boss is hard. Uh, all right. A tiny wizard. Hello, tiny wizard. Have you come to surrender your city? You want us to leave? Oh, no, 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 no. My people love it here. We shall call this city New Goblerton. If you prove to be good servants, perhaps we shall let the tiny wizard stay in New Goblerton. Here is my royal decree. You pick up the royal decree to take back the mini pixie crown. Alright, and I'm going to use my trick that I always like to do is I'm going to mark the location here. So that I have easy access to teleport back. And, uh, my friend here is, or my sec my other account is way closer to Mini Pixie Crown than I, <laughs> than I am, so we'll, we'll take that way. Yes, we will. Okay. Alright. The Goblin King wants us to, us to surrender Wizard City? Big problem. Big problem. I can't believe the gobblers are trying to claim Wizard City. We, we need to tell Headmaster Ambrose. Take the Gobbler King's Royal Decree to Headmaster Ambrose. See what he thinks we should do. Yeah, man, I'd like to know. Alright, Merle Ambrose. What do you got for me? What? This decree doesn't even make sense. It's just pictures of ice cream and chickens drawn in crayon. Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly. The gobblers may be a larger problem than we realized. I hate to ask, but you need to go duel some of them to test their strength. No. No. Stop it. I can't log out because I have my thing. I'm just going to teleport away. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so honestly, you guys don't really need to see this, so, uh, it's just a bunch of defeating gobblers, so I'll be right back. Okay, finally, I'm finished that. You can go to the comments, talk to Marley Ambrose now. That took a while. I also made a minor pit stop, finished the side quest there as well. Uh, the Kirby Longspear one, and whatever. But yeah, good. Now that we know how strong the goblins are, I have a plan. Please uh, deliver this letter to Mini Pixie Crown for me. Your hard work will pay off, I promise. Headmaster Ambrose hands you an official looking document. Uh, how about no? How about you calm down there, buddy? Let me, let me teleport to the comments. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I feel like they should change that. That bothers me a lot. Well, maybe in that instance, but it's not, like, hey, anyways, just in that instance, though, like, I, I don't want to accept that quest yet, man. Like, I know it's, like, the main quest in quote or the main quest in quotation marks, but, like, Jesus. Don't want to do it. That's for not even next episode. Well, actually, yeah. Ne well, I don't know. Maybe. No, not not next episode. Probably the episode after that. Mini Pig's Crown reads the official looking document. I think this plan will work. 
This plan calls for challenging the Gobbler King's two closest advisors, Baron Greebly and Barra Rotunda. Dueling isn't my strength, so you're the only one who can do this, Alejandro. Uh, they're each hiding out in towers, one at each end of the street. Defeat them and see what the Gobbler King has to say then. Okay. Baron Greebly. Let's go, man. I'm ready to fight. I do not have a problem fighting the bosses. Hopefully they're not as hard. Well, this one I know is not that hard, but I think the other one is a lot harder. Even than the prince that we fought, faced in the uh, castle, I think that guy is not as hard as Baron Rotunda. But this one I think is fairly easy. But of course, it's been a while since I've been here, so I can't exactly remember. But from what I remember, I don't think this one's too bad. Is it time for dinner yet? You look like you'd make a good stew. Get over here. Okay, well, he has a gobbler scavenger as a minion, so he can't be that hard, right? Please, can I go first, like, once? Okay, thank you. The lords have spoken. It's about damn time. <laughs> like, I don't think I've gone first... In the whole time I cut away. Always one second. Kind of ridiculous. Alright, I can get rid of the minion, but do I want to? I don't, I don't really want to waste it. Waste the blade, at least. Uh, I will, anyways. Just so I can get the kill. Just because it's, it's always better to have one person in me instead of two. And if I can make that happen, I should. So there we go. Get rid of the scavenger. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'll hit Greebly with a spark. Or a strike, or whatever it's called. Just to deal a little bit of damage. I assume he's going to cast something pretty strong. Leprechaun. Well, for life, that is their strongest spell, level 10, so. At level 12, though, that then it changes, because you get Nietzsche's Wrath. Life is actually one of the first characters, the first, first uh, schools I ever uh, played as. And then I mo eventually moved on to Storm. I know, it's kind of a roll, it's kind of a reversal, in a way. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna use Fire Elf instead of Sunbird. Just so I can heal, uh, after. While still dealing a bit of damage each turn. Okay. Okay, Fizzle, nice. Uh. And yeah, I'm gonna heal. So I can get some health back. I just can't wait till I have Meteor Strike. I can actually freaking deal some good damage to multiple enemies. Especially street enemies. Not so much for the bosses, because I like to directly hit them instead, but... You know, it's still good, I suppose. And fire cat. Nice, did max damage. And dead. Imp Lord's clo uh, helm. Cloak of. Okay, cool. And Baron Rotunds, I believe. Cody is. Closer. Yeah, because he's right here. Baron Rotunda. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just pop the potion, fine. I know there's health sparks over there, but I really don't want to waste any time. Alright, Baron, let's see how hard you are. I think he's ice, so I do boost on him, but that doesn't really make a difference. You've come to take my treats? I can't allow that. To battle. Okay. Let's just make sure I have, like... Okay. Basically as good as I'm gonna get it. Uh, just 
Do that and then patrol in. Okay. I might have to use treasure cards because this battle is going to be harder. This is the one where I actually want to go first on. And I do. Sweet. Thank God, man. I don't know if it'd be easier taking out the minion or the boss, honestly. I'm kind of indifferent about it. I don't know. I'll go for the minion, I guess, just to get it out of the way. I mean, it won't kill right away, but, like, it's going to boost, so it should still be nice damage. Yeah, 164. Plus, overtime, probably going to do at least 100 each turn. Let's hope I don't get hit too hard this turn. 114, yeah, man. Oh, he passed! What a nice guy! He's gonna pass right, right to death. <laughs> Alright, so we only, we only got the boss to worry about, which is good. Uh, however, he's gonna be hitting me... Well, I don't know if he's gonna be hitting me the hardest, to be honest with you. I'm actually surprised at how little they're, they have attacked me so far. And there we go, the glutton's gone. If he doesn't ice, uh, ice shield. If he doesn't fire shield, then I'll probably use Sunbird. Uh, okay, I guess I'm using Sunbird then. This should actually do a lot. Actually, it could kill. It might actually kill. Almost. Wow. I'm actually genuinely surprised at how easy this was. Baron Greebly was actually a lot harder. Maybe I just got lucky? With, like, them not casting that many spells? But, like, I feel like I was extremely lucky here. Huh. I'll take it, man. I have zero problem doing that. And now here's where the gobble stone castle teleport thing really comes in handy so I don't have to face the prince again. Ah, the little wizard is back. Are you ready to surrender now? You tell the Goblin King about your battles with Baron Gre Barons Greebly and Rotunda. What? You defeated them? I find that hard to believe. I'll have to send someone to find out if what you say is true or not. Just as the Goblin King is in ready to call, a messenger breaks into the room. Sir, the two barons have been defeated by a student wizard. What shall we do? Oh dear, what you said is true. That Then that means New Gobblerton, er, uh, Wizard City, is yours. Spare me and my people, Wizard. We mean you no harm. I ask that you are allowed to stay here. Our old home is filled with witches and we are too scared to go back. I promise we will not eat so much. You have my word. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, those two bosses weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be, actually. I'm I'm a little surprised. We'll hand in that Prospect of Z quest when we come back, because we're going to have to talk to the Headmaster again. So, we'll hand the... We'll finally hand in the Smith's quest after that. And we're about to level up to what I believe is 12. No, 13. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Oh, well, yeah, well, obviously, I wouldn't have Link if I wasn't 12, so, yeah. Obvi obviously, it's going to 13. Yeah, because once I get to level 15, I can finally get some better gear, because, honestly, I need it, man. <laughs> like, uh, oh, it's, it's, uh, yeah. Amazing, Alejandro, you've brought peace with the gobblers. You've done a great job. Uh, be sure to tell the, tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said. Now I can get back to my project. Okay, don't really... That's about the team-up thing. Not gonna be bothering with that. Has no relevance on the walkthrough itself. Alright, let's talk to the Headmaster. Job well done, is what I say. My plan worked? That is excellent news. You tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said about their home world. My, my. I certainly don't want to force them to go back to a world where they aren't welcome. Very well. We will let them stay in Colossus Boulevard. It appears we have new neighbors. Staff of Runes. I have a better one. I got Alicanes. Uh, Badger and Master Diplomat. 
Okay, and yeah, we're not doing that yet. Let me just hand in the Prospector Z quest here. Hello, Renee. All right. Well, Tarnation, you found them all. I'll find a good home for them, don't you worry. Here's a little reward for helping me out. You more than deserve it for all your ex assistance. So look me up if you ever wander the spiral. Nice. Train pole will come handy. Anyways, that's gonna... Oh, it was a city explorer. Anyways, that is gonna end off this video. If you guys did enjoy, please hit the subscribe button. That much would be appreciated. If you want to see more content, that's how you do it. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video of the Wizard World Walkthrough. And peace out. Bye-bye.